welcome back to our channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto. And today's video is a what we eat in a day video. Well, kind of. I'm going to show what I eat in a day. Dinner is going to be both of us eating the same thing. So you'll kind of see that. But um, yeah. And I'm going to make a couple of things in this video. Um, we have, what time is it right now? It's almost 11 o'clock already. It is our second day off. So it's kind of like our Sunday, but it is Thursday. And we're just uh, catching up on a bunch of YouTube videos that we need to make for both channels. And, you know, just getting stuff done. And it's just nice to be able to do it. And then we might run out later and take a drive. So stay tuned. I don't know. But... I'm excited for today's video. Um, I'm about to eat lunch because I'm hungry. It's about 11 o'clock and I'm just going to do something light. I think I'm just going to have this um, tuna packet. It's some tuna in water and I'm just going to like open it up, mix it with some mayonnaise and salt and pepper and then there you go. Um, there are zero carbs in it, but there's 18, 18 protein, 18 grams of protein in here. So I know it's probably not going to fill me up tremendously, but I just don't feel like making a lot. It's the, the kitchen is hard in this place. I'm not going to lie. So I'm still adjusting to it, but sometimes I just don't want to bring out a big appliance just to make something little. So if I'm going to do it like tonight, it's going to be a big meal. So we're going to do that. That's what I'm going to eat. And I feel like, was there something else I wanted to say? I can't remember. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're just going to get a lot of stuff done. We're going to do a little bit of laundry to just kind of have everything ready for the week. So, cause it's Easter weekend coming up and we got a lot of events for like kids and stuff in the park. So it's going to be a fun time, but yeah. So I'll show you what this looks like. Tuna with mayo, salt and pepper. All right. So here's what you see when you open up the tuna packet and you know what? It's a whole serving. So I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to do mayo and what I like is I got the mayo that's like the squeezy bottle. So that will help with less mess. And then I'll put a little salt and pepper in there. And maybe I'll put the chili lime in there. Ooh, the Redmond chili lime. Hold on. Okay, I know this doesn't look like much, but I put some of that mayo in it and some of the real salt chili lime. And you got to put a lot with those. It is so delicious, but I feel like you use more than what you think you would use. And that's what you're going to get the flavor. And then I put a little bit of chopped pickles in it. And this is very convenient. I'm really digging this. Um, I like that there's minimal dishes too. Who loves cleaning dishes? Not me. And I don't have a dishwasher. So yes, this is working out perfectly. And I beefed it up a little bit, so it's good. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to make the macaroons that I made recently from a keto chow video that I did where they had the strawberry cream and vanilla cream coming back for good. I said, you know what? After the fruity cereal ones that I saw, uh, when I got these, I was like, I need to make those. So I'm going to try to make them, but here's the funny thing. I don't have an oven in here. I have a convection oven. Let me show you. It's a convection oven. Oh, look, there's my legs. Um, so I should be able to cook in it. We're going to try this out for the first time. And I'm not going to show you everything, but I'll definitely show you how it turns out. So cross my cross fingers, see? Cross fingers, cross my legs. I am really hoping this works because these are delicious. And I got to say, if you haven't seen the video where I made the fudge, delicious. There's a, quite a few people that have made some delicious looking things using this keto chow fruity flavor or fruity cereal one. And I'm just amazed by the creativity. I wasn't creative. I just made a recipe from a recipe that was already on keto chow, just using this flavor, but it was delicious. So I'm going to eat, we're going to make these and see how they turn out. All right. So here are the fruity cereal macaroons with the keto chow. And, um, this pan would not fit in there. So I had to like make it fit. So we're going to put it in for 350 degrees in this convection oven for 15 minutes. Let's see how it turns out. All right. So I have got those macaroons in the oven, crossing fingers. Uh, while those are in the oven, I wanted to let you know that I have partnered with Mint Mobile for this part of the video. Mint Mobile is a cell phone company. You guys probably have seen Ryan Reynolds in some commercials for Mint Mobile. 
that's the one they actually he actually owns mint mobile and they reached out to me and wanted to see if i wanted to you know partner with them and i was like absolutely i said however i want to try this first so for the past few months i have actually been trying mint mobile as my cell phone provider and they do use the nation's largest 5g network which is very important right now right and so I wanted to give you an example. It was perfect timing for me to be able to use them around this time because we were living with my mom in Georgia, well, outside of my mom's house in Georgia. And if you saw any of those videos, it was country. And I was like, this is the perfect time for me to try this because we're gonna be in the country. And I know that my mom's cell phone doesn't really work. She uses a large company. Um, a name brand, you know, one of the ones that everybody knows. And it's just like, she wasn't having much luck. You know, it would cut out all the time. So I was using it. And I gotta say it was the same, pretty much the same as I've been used to. So that was nice. Um, but one kicker was one time Andy and I were at a coffee shop and he was trying to send me something, a picture or something, and it wasn't coming through. And then lo and behold, I used mine under Mint Mobile and was able to do the thing that he could not do. So that was very telling to me. It was something that actually said, hmm, this, this works. So I did want to let you know about them because right now, you saw my last grocery haul that I just posted. It was $200 for Andy and I for maybe a week and a half. I mean, it's ridiculous. And there's really no way around it. Sure, we can cut a little bit off there, but I'm looking to save money right now because we're living in an RV. Things are a lot different. Things are a little tighter. So when I see opportunities like this, I want to share it with you guys because we could all save money. Um, so they have plans available for you as low as $15 a month. Are you getting your plans for $15 a month? I wasn't, I wasn't, but that's a great deal. And another thing I love about them is <laughs> we all know changing anything is awful. Changing uh, insurance, changing, you know, like your car insurance, a bank, a cell phone provi provider, that kind of stuff is a pain. It's a pain and we don't want to do it, but they've got it pretty easy for you. It can take as little as 15 minutes to get switched. So yeah, I feel like that's a great thing. And also, you know, to make the switch, you have to have that little SIM card and switch it out it's very technical terms here. If you don't have a SIM card in your phone, they will actually send you one for free. That's how confident they are in their service to you. So I did want to make sure I shared with you a link where you can sign up with them and find the plan that works for you. So definitely check them out. I will have the link right here and it'll also be in the description down below. But I also want you to tell me one thing. The money that you save if you switch to Mint Mobile, what are you going to use that money for? I'm going to not feel so guilty about uh, spending so much money on my groceries because I'm saving money now with Mint Mobile. So thank you for partnering with me, Mint Mobile, on this video. And let's get and see how these macaroons turn out. Okay, so here we are. Um, it's been almost the full 15 minutes, but you can see... I don't know much about a convection oven and when I put it in here it was preheating so I do know that it preheats now so my bad but I'm learning um I think these are going to be good no matter what these ones that are burnt over here were over here so I moved a little over so we can kind of get them cooked a little more evenly but I think they're going to be just fine um this is going to work I'm pretty excited about it do you guys have any um experience with cooking in a convection microwave oven it's pretty small so i've got to be careful but i i'm learning by making this and this is something that i think you can't really mess up on too much you know so it's going to be delicious no matter what um also side note i didn't have a cookie scoop they make them look so much prettier if you use a cookie scoop so i would recommend that but let's finish this up and see how they finally turn out the level of excitement that I have right now, knowing that I can make these anytime I want. Oh, unbelievable. So, you know, it's a little finicky of a thing. Some got cooked a little more than others, but I am not mad about it. We tasted them. They are delicious. So, yay. All right, the next time I show you, it is going to be our dinner. And, oh my gosh, you don't want to miss this. Andy sent me this, and he was like, let's make this. And I said, let's do it. 
All right, everyone, it is getting close to dinner time here and we're gonna make something that Andy found online and it sounded delicious, so we're gonna try it. Um, there's Ralphie. We did go on a drive today and I'll post a picture here so you can see all of us. It was so cute, this little picture. And Ralphie's face, this looks like he's terrified, right? But he's, you know, in a unknown place. <laughs> So it's pretty funny. But anyway, so we're going to make something called crack burgers. And it just sounds so good. Andy is going to make the burgers on the griddle, the Blackstone outside. But we're going to kind of get things started in here. So we have some ground beef. We need some shredded cheese. I have a little bit left over from what I shredded uh, for some chaffles recently. Um, we need some crumbled bacon. I just opted for this because of convenience. Um, we need a packet of ranch seasoning and some sour cream. So all of this is going to mix into this, which I'm pretty excited about. And then we're going to cook them on the griddle. And I might be making some chaffles with it. Andy was really wanting some chaffles to make it like a burger, a real burger. Um, so I was thinking about a side salad, but I don't think so. With the chaffles, I think this will be pretty filling on its own with all of this in there. So let's get started. All right, so we have all of those ingredients mixed together. I'm gonna put the recipe for it down below. Pretty simple, but you're just gonna mix everything together. We're gonna put make four patties out of this and then um, we'll cook them on the griddle. So very quick too, I must say, which I like that. Okay, so here is how they look after Andy has flipped them. And it's probably got like that crust on it from all the goodness inside of it, like the bacon and the cheese and all that. Oh my gosh. I told him to like overcook mine because that's just me and this is like right up my alley but I think that was delicious. I can't wait to dig in and the chaffles are almost done. Okay here are our crack burgers with the chaffles that I was telling you about. Don't these look delicious? Um, I had a little bit of shredded cheese left over in that bag so I went ahead and finished it off and this is mine because I have a slice of tomato and a slice of onion there. Also, we put some mayonnaise, ketchup and mustard, and that is what's for dinner tonight. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. All right, everyone, so dinner was delicious. I literally ate every single bite of that burger. It was so good. I will make sure that I put the information down below on how to make that. Oh my gosh. It was so good. Andy is so full too. So I'm glad we didn't do the salad too because that was so protein packed because of the chaffles and the burgers. Oh, that was so good. But anywho, so um, these are the macaroons I made earlier today. I'm going to have one. Andy was like, I'm so full. He doesn't think he's going to have one, but it's still kind of early in the night. So he might, but I'm going to at least have one of these. These are delicious too. And, um, yeah, that's it. Look at the cute little Bucky's cup that I got. We went to Bucky's um, yesterday and we put a video up on the RV channel if you want to see. <laughs> that was fun. But uh, yeah, so that is it, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Share this video if you think it might help somebody. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, just make sure that you are still subscribed. Um, sometimes weird things happen on YouTube and... I would just love to make sure that you're still part of the family and you don't miss out on any of the good stuff coming up. We are so excited for things to come and we're just really working to try to grow both of our channels. So there you go. I hope you like this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.